Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys around Camtasia Studio 6. I really would recommend this program to people who can't afford Sony Vegas or just don't know how to use it. First off, I'm going to show you guys how to import media into the program. Go underneath the Add tab and go to Import Media. This, you can import uh, music, pictures, or videos. I'm going to import a video of my past uh, recording of my Easy Installer. So it'll show up in the clip bin here. and. Uh, it's basically like Windows Movie Maker, what you want to do is uh, drag it down to the timeline at the bottom here. You can either drag and drop it, or you can just right click and press add to timeline. I find it faster. When you add something to the timeline, a project settings will come up asking you to select a preset. Now, it depends on what you want to be doing. If you're going to go, I would recommend choosing the YouTube uh, preset because it's only 640 by 480 which is SD which is full screen not widescreen most videos widescreen nowadays so I'd choose HD if I were you I modified my HD preset it's actually 1280 by 720 but my computer screen is 1280 by 800 so we're just gonna go with that now we're going to have a look at the title clips this is basically same feature as Windows Movie Maker, you can type a clip, so I'm going to type my name here, and it should show up, and you can, you know, change the, uh, the size, the, uh, you know, font, the color, if you may, or you can just add a background to it, so, yeah, voice narration, you can add a, uh, like, voice, like I'm doing right now to a video, uh, but I'm actually recording using my mic, I'm not just doing a narration, so, you can just, you know, and there's record camera, so if you have a USB video camera or you have a web camera, you can use our webcam, sorry, and use that. Uh, go to audio enhancements underneath edit. This gets rid of uh, the noise, like crackling in the background. Uh, it does a fairly good job at it, so yeah. And callouts, you can put a bunch of different symbols on your video, such as an arrow, or you can do a highlight, or you can blur. Like I can blur my name if I really wanted to. So if I go here, it'll blur it for me. So if you want, if you have personal information in a video that you don't want to show, you can blur it. So I'm just gonna show you a different other one. There's spotlight. This is one that makes people focus on things. So say if you want someone to really focus on something in your video and just have everything else in the background, I recommend using the spotlight because. Um, yeah, it just focuses the eye on something else, such as your name or anything else like that. So, we're just going to delete that. Now, there's transitions. Uh, I, I prefer Sony Vegas for transitions, but Camtasia Studio 6 it, is fairly good for transitions. You can do like the cube rotate or like... Um, I'll add another video to show you guys a uh, the cube rotation. Okay, now I can show you the cube rotation. That's pretty cool. So if I drag and drop it in here, I can uh, can just slide back here, and I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like. That's me in my my pre one of the previous videos. Uh, I guess it didn't show the cube rotating, but it still has the cube rotation, and uh, yeah. But uh, you can also add captions to your videos, such as like uh, you know um, the subtitles. Sorry, I kind of had a brain fart there. But the subtitles, you can add it by text, or you can just uh, paste them in there. It's pretty much just subtitles. And flash quiz survey. I really don't know anything about that. I'll look into that later. Um, Right here is the screen recorder I'm using right now. It's an excellent screen recording. It's the best screen recorder I've come across yet. And this one you can record your PowerPoint presentations for video. Um, I find that fair, fairly useful. Um, so, and that's pretty much it, guys. There's a few uh, tutorials down here with uh, you can you know splice some videos if you really want to. You can cut them up. You can raise the volume. Um, I'm going to show you guys zoom and pan because I think this is my favorite feature out of all of it. See how I have the black bars at the top there? If you right click and say snap to video edges, 
it gets rid of the black bars and I really like that feature because it gives you that nice clean look in on YouTube so you don't have like it fills the whole video player and um, so you can uh, add another uh, zoom so if you say if you want someone to zoom in somewhere when they want to if you if you have something really important on your screen and you want to zoom in on it so people can see it better uh, you just drag and drop this here and you can zoom into whatever and it will show it up like there on the side right there see I'm zooming in on my name just as an example so that's uh, that's a pretty cool feature and you can choose when it zooms in one second or not you know right here you can choose uh, instant which I really don't like I kinda like the 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 for zooming in and uh, that's pretty much it guys the last feature I'm going to show you is the tilt feature you can tilt your videos like that uh, my computer's not all that great for graphics when I'm recording so you can tilt your video once again there it's a pretty cool feature and that's pretty much it guys for the uh, beginning or getting started view of the Camtasia Studio 6 and once again guys I really recommend this program and I'll be seeing you guys later